I'm here at Piper's Farm near Columpton, where they produce quality beef. So let's go meet the Bullocks and the man who looks after them. They're Red Ruby cattle. These are the native Exmoor beef breed. So they've been around in Devon for hundreds of years and the reason that they were developed here is because they're perfect for surviving up on Exmoor and then we bring the young bullocks off the moor down to the lowland valley pastures of the Calm Valley here and they thrive off grass. I know that eating healthily is good for our life and well-being but is it for bullocks as well? Absolutely. For cattle and sheep mostly their diet is grass so the grass they eat is absolutely vital. The deep rooting grasses pull up all the minerals and vitamins that these animals need. There's no going down to the chemist to get supplements for these cattle because this food for them it's like meat and two veg. It's a wonderful balanced diet. Well you know what they say what goes in one end has to come out the other and for cow farmers that means cow pats. Because this farm doesn't pump their animals full of chemicals, that means the cow pats here are a whole ecosystem in themselves. You can see that the surface of this cow pat, not only are there remnants of little bits of the cow's meal from yesterday, bits of clover, little bits of grass and barley, but it's also riddled with holes. And that's from all the insect life that's burrowing in here and eating it. There's a little beetle here. And if we just break the surface open, ooh, a good job you haven't got smell of vision you can see that underneath it's absolutely crawling with life these little tiny dung beetles are in there eating the organic material from the cow pat and because there's no chemicals in this cow pat they're free to live and breed on the farm there's only so much fun you can have with a cow pat and I think I've got the most out of that one Ugh, that's disgusting. 